Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're first going to explore how to generate text via a single prompt to get back a single result from Gemini. In the next lecture, we'll go over chat models, and then at the end, we'll talk about different parameters like temperature or top K that allow you to change the results that you get from the model. Let's check it out. Okay, here I am at my Jupyter Notebook. I've already imported Gen AI, that is Google Generative AI, and I've configured my API key like we did in the API access lecture. Keep in mind, in this lecture, I'm gonna show you the single response text call, that is a single prompt and a single response. In the next lecture, we'll actually create a chat model with an ongoing conversation. What's interesting is the underlying model is still the same. So let's actually create an instance of our model. We're gonna say model gen AI dot, and then we call generative model, and then pass in the string of the model we want. Remember in the API access lecture, we saw a list of models available. So we're gonna go with Gemini-Pro. Later on, we'll explore the ProVision model. And so that creates an instance of our model. And then what we can do is generate content with that model with a given prompt. So for example, the prompt can be just a simple question like, uh, what is the capital of the United States? Question mark. And then I'm going to get a response by generating content with the model. So I will say the response object that I get back is from model generate underscore content. And then I pass in my prompt. And this is gonna take a little bit of time, but for such a small, simple prompt, it should be relatively quick. So we get our response back. Keep in mind, the response itself is actually not just text. If I take a look at the response object, it's actually this special object called generate content response. So keep that in mind. If you just ask for response like this, that itself is an object that contains attributes. The attribute you're probably most interested in is the text itself. The text is the actual string that hopefully answers the prompt. So for example, what's the capital of the United States? The response text is Washington DC. There are other things returned, however, inside this response object. So for example, I can see there's also a prompt feedback attribute to this response. So prompt feedback has to do with the safety ratings of different categories. Depending on what you ask, it may actually trigger a moderation endpoint for Gemini, meaning uh, it won't return back your response. This has to do with the safety of Gemini. You can see the different categories that it's gonna try to stop, like dangerous content, harassment, hate speech, and sexually explicit content. So for example, you can't ask Gemini something like, how do I create an explosive device using these materials? That would probably uh, categorize it as dangerous content, and then it would give you some higher probability and block the output. Obviously, we're not gonna do that sort of thing in this course, but I just want you to be aware of that, that it does have these safety categories as well as probabilities. Now, in the future, we'll actually be able to ask for multiple candidates. I should point out that right now, Gemini is limited to one candidate, and we'll talk about candidates in the parameters lecture towards the end of this section. But basically what that means is in the future, you'll actually be able to ask for like multiple candidate responses and then figure out on your own which one you like best. If we check out response.candidates, you can see that we technically only have one candidate at index zero, which is the text, the role. And the role just basically confirms whose side of the text this comes from. So Washington DC is coming from the model. The role is gonna be more important in the chat lecture. And then we get back the finished reason, which we'll talk about later, and then the safety ratings. And that's basically it. But keep in mind, you can do things that are a lot more creative than just asking for what's the capital of the United States. I can do something like um, write a rap about Claude Shannon, who's kind of known as the father of information theory, and then uh, make sure it rhymes. And then we'll get the response. And then let's ask for print response text. If we print the response text, that will actually take into account things like new lines. So it should format it for us. And so there it is. So in the realm of information theory, a legend has emerged, his knowledge surged, he cracked the code, um, a path untrod, mind, kind, began, man. So it looks like uh, pretty good. Okay. As a last point I want to make here is you would probably, in your day-to-day -day use case, just make a simple function. So you can do something like def get response. And then you'll pass in the prompt and do something like the response is equal to model.generateContent. 
from that prompt and then return the response text. That way you can just do it with a single call rather than having to generate the content and then grab the response text. So pretty straightforward. Again, generative model, generate content, grab the response.text. Let's explore chat conversations in the next lecture.